22. Mm, let's see. Hi. <laughs> a year of a journey in the... It was pretty much fun, dramatic, and transformative for me. It's the year when I toughened up, decided to discover and face my deepest, darkest fears that were holding me back. I gathered up the courage to collect my failures, put them in one basket, took all the lessons with me, accepted defeat, and embraced all of who I am. Thus, accepting all of the truest parts of myself. Truly a year full of lessons. I learned the importance of having a real, intimate relationship with myself, <laughs> taking the time to listen and honor what it is I really want, then I learned how to prioritize myself. That it's not selfish to take care of yourself, you know, to put yourself first. So know what you want, go after it, as long as you're not hurting others. Then, because of this, I learned to forgive, and to let go of things, and to see them from a different perspective. All these have led me to realize the importance of setting clear boundaries too. Okay. I learned friends. that it's okay to say no and to not feel bad about it. And also 2022 is a year of growth and of doing things I really want. It's when I finally moved to a new place here in Japan. Secondly, I was finally able to travel abroad for the first time with my friends. I was able to travel solo too. And nope, 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 nope. It wasn't lonely as I thought. I wasn't anxious. I didn't feel alone. And matter of fact, I was totally at peace. You know, it was just so liberating not having to worry about anyone else aside from myself. I could do whatever. I could change my mind and do just anything. It was priceless. Solitude, man. Solitude. 2022 is the year of more blessings for me. It's a welcoming of new people, new experiences. 2022 is the year before I would turn 30, and yet I felt like I was turning 22 again. At 22, that was the time I baptized myself. I thought I officially became an adult. I finished college after six years, had my first real job, earning my real salary. You know supporting my family and also it was the time i met someone i ended up liking a lot a lot whom i thought i was gonna end up marrying and so i thought that was it i was adulting at that time but nope it's not like that mm -mm. actually for me Thing began right after I took the time to listen to myself at a deeper level and that's when I knew I have come to fully love myself for who I really am. 2022 is when I gave birth to my real self again where all of my attempts to grow, to be true to myself, to own my truth, including the unpleasant ones, to find what gives me flow and to work on becoming real best version I want to be have come to life. And this is why it's a significant year for me. Year of courage, letting go of what doesn't align to my values, acceptance, growth, and rebirth. It's the nurturing of who I really am, who I have been, and who I want to be. And for the longest time, I finally feel so at home with myself again. So here's to coming home to ourselves, the deepest, truest version of them.